the Science Museum of Virginia, congratulations on your 100th installation of Science on the Sphere. Yeah. Hello from St. Paul's School. Check it out. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate the NOAA team on the 100th Science on a Sphere. When I created the first Science on a Sphere on a beach ball that I painted white and put in my garage, I had hoped that it would make a difference, but this is way beyond my most fondest ambitions. Congratulations from Visual Time Center in Denmark. Happy 100th Science on the Spear! Kansas City Science Center, Science City is proud to be a part of NOAA's SOS family. A primeira ciência na esfera instalada no hemisfério sul está aqui no Instituto Oceanográfico da Universidade de São Paulo. Greetings from Alaska State Museum here in Juneau, Alaska. We put together a team, uh, people like David Himes, an outstanding software engineer who made it what it is today. We found a business leader, Bill Bendel, who really saw how to make it happen, not just in the United States, but globally. So congratulations to everybody involved with this wonderful effort. Happy 100th Science on a Sphere from Telus World of Science Edmonton. We use the Science on a Sphere to help the visiting public learn more about the geology that shaped the world around us. The Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia, home of Canada's first Science on a Sphere. Happy 100th SOS! NASA celebrates NOAA's 100th Sphere. The Aquarium of the Pacific loves using science on the sphere. Happy 100th SOS! Happy... Happy... 100th SOS! This is a creation of the universe. We just love it. Fantastic! Let us enjoy. S O S Happy! Yeah! Here in Rockport, Texas, we say Happy Happy 100. Hi, my name is Bill Bendell, and I have been the Science on a Sphere Program Manager for the past 10 years. Reaching the 100th SOS installation is a remarkable milestone and involved the efforts of many individuals and organizations both within and outside of NOAA. I think what has been the most impressive is the breadth and the extent of the Science on a Sphere program. We now have installations in 16 countries, and the displays feature science from many disciplines. The future is bright for science on a sphere.